we live right we are live and let me tell you i'm double excited about this because this is the the first first uh, video of a three-part series so we're doing a three-part video series all about a particular type of fat that is causing many of you, of you ladies to struggle with your waistline no matter what you do okay so i want to try and help you out and i put a post up on facebook the other day on my profile on my on my page in my facebook group so we're live to all of that at the moment so if you are watching make sure you do say hello and if you're watching the replay stick a hashtag replay in the comments so that i know you've seen this video and we can carry on the conversation later on okay so welcome it is a three-part series today this is our first in the three-part series to try and help you get rid of your belly fat figure out what's going on especially for you a women so are over 40 and perhaps your your clothes don't fit properly and uh, you know i can pretty much guarantee you that uh, it's a, a particular type of fat and you're probably wondering what that type of fat is which we will delve into in a moment so for now make sure you say hello hey laura i see you in here good to see you laura make sure you say hello i can see you watching get in here say hello let's have a, a little bit of a chit chat and see what we can do about this okay and remember if you're watching the replay stick a hashtag replay even if you can't watch this whole thing right now stick a little comment in there say hello and i'll uh, make sure that i come back on here later on and follow up with you now because i'm live on my group as well I might not be able to see your comments because Facebook is a bit of a, a monkey at uh, not letting the privacy or with all their privacy terms and things like that. So if uh, if I haven't seen your name, because I can see someone said hello there, it not, might mean that uh, you need to allow me to see your name and allow Facebook and all that shenanigans. OK, but we're going to get jumping in here. We're going to jump in. So this this type of fat is a, is a certain type of fat that a lot of people don't speak about. OK, and. You know, as I say, if you're over 40, then it's, it's a good chance this is the fat that's causing you, causing you trouble, causing you a few issues, should we say. And um, worse than this, it's it's a deadly type of fat. Okay, so let me let me start. Let me start by telling you a, a little story about uh, an old client of mine, Jessica. So Jessica came to me with um, with all all the same issues that many of you have got. Okay, struggling to lose belly fat. Something was uh, off. Okay. And she was in it. She was in her forties. You know, a couple of kids, married, um, but her waistline was getting bigger. And she she didn't recognise herself when she looked in the mirror, and she'd lost a spark. Something just wasn't quite right. So she wanted to know what's going on. And you know, I, I hear this a, a lot, especially with um, with women that have, have been struggling, that have had kids, and. They may have had a little bounce back and started to get their body back, but then something happens. Someone's stopping them. You know, their belly fat starts to get, well, their belly starts to get bigger. Their waistline starts to go out there. They stop wearing the clothes that they want to wear and they, they don't feel good about themselves. And this is where Jessica was with. It's where, why she came to me. And the, the straw that broke the camel's back though was, was uh, when she was riding the tube one day. So the underground in London, she was on the tube one day, busy, busy. I think it must have been, you know, Monday, Tuesday morning, rush hour sort of thing. There's no seats available. And so she was standing there, you know, someone's armpit in her face, all that sort of stuff that usually happens on the tubes on rush hour. And then someone said, oh, do you, do you want to sit down? So she sat, you know, she sat down. Thanks very much. And then she realized it, it dawned on her. The reason that this guy said, oh, do you want to sit down? is because he thought she was pregnant and she wasn't pregnant. <laughs> okay. So she sat there and she's like, oh my God. This is this is not good. This is <laughs> I need to do something about this now, and it was at that point where she's like, right, what, what is going on? Um, she tried all sorts of different diets, workout programs, done everything, and it had been a good five or six years since she was actually pregnant. So it was, her body was changing, especially around the waistline, and, and due to that specific type of fat. So, hey, hey, Dawn, I see you're in here as well. I see a couple of other people that have hopped in here as well, but I can't see your uh, your names, actually. So I'm going to try and bring this up on here, see if I can get into my group, see if anyone's watching in my group here. See if I can bring it up here somewhere. I think it would let me know, wouldn't you? All right, so. But yeah, she got to a point where she's not happy. 
um, and was really struggling physically but uh, mentally as well as i said she lost that spark didn't want to wear her clothes that uh, that used to fit her because they were too tight didn't want to go out with her husband you know because the clothes didn't fit anymore she didn't feel confident going out and it's because of this a certain type of belly fat okay and i know this is a this is a personal story of dresses but uh, I, I wonder have you ever have you ever felt like this so do let me know if you have felt like this Okay, I want to know if you've ever, or if you feel just feel like something's changed, and no matter what you do, your belly fat's not shifting, or perhaps you you don't wear the clothes that you want to wear anymore. You start to wear clothes that are a little bit perhaps more baggy, trying to cover up a, a touch more. So do let me know. Stick a stick a yes, or stick a change. Stick a change in the comments if you feel that that's you. Okay, if you feel that that's happening to you. But here's the thing it's not a woman's fault it's not your fault okay there are some pretty big changes that are going on in a, in a woman's body from from pretty much the 30s 40s but definitely into the 50s okay i can see lots of you yeah dance has changed a couple of changes in there brilliant good stuff um, and i'm talking about hormones right you know you know it's those hormones right so i want to tell you about another well not not a client but a friend of mine jane okay she's super active um, goes probably go, probably goes to the gym more than I do, all right. She's uh, she runs a lot, um, eats well, uh, plays volleyball. So she's she's really really active, really into that that active scene, you know, like pretty much like me. But she had noticed something was starting to change. You know, she was still doing all the same things, you know, still exercising, still going to the gym, going out runs with friends, playing volleyball, um, same age as me. But something had changed. She started to notice that her waistline was starting to get a little bit bigger, starting to get a bit of a pooch, okay, that pooch belly that not a lot of people like. I'm pretty sure that you do not like the pooch belly if you've got that thing going on, right? And it's all down to this type of fat, and it's called visceral fat or visceral fat. Now, have you heard of visceral fat? Now, let me know. Stick stick a V. I won't, I won't get you to spell it okay because it is is a tricky one. So stick a V in the comments if if you've heard of a visceral fat before. Now let me explain what visceral fat is. We have, now first of all, we have subcutaneous fat and subcutaneous fat is fat under the skin. So we all have it, arms, legs, face, subcutaneous fat. We've all got it, okay? Um, subcutaneous fat. And visceral fat is different, okay? Is one place where visceral fat likes to go, and I can, I can pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could guess where it is, right, on the belly, okay, right around the belly, around the organs, which is why it's, it's known as deadly fat, and something that we obviously want to do about it. And worse than that, it pushes your belly out. So if you've started to feel like your your belly is getting bigger, it's probably down to this belly fat, especially if you're over 14, you've had your hormones starting to change. This is pretty much why it is okay. So, same for for Jane. You know, she was exercising, eating well. Nothing changed really. You know, still loves going to the gym, but something had changed there. So, okay, so that's what it's all about there. So, I can see a few of you have heard of visceral fat V V V. Yeah, all good, all good. Yeah, <laughs> but yes, I have. I'm fighting it. Yep, a lot of women are fighting it. Okay, and we will be delving in a little bit deeper. In the, in the next couple of days about what you can do about it, giving you a solution for this. But for today's video, I just wanted to set the scene really and meet you where you're at right now. Now, the thing with visceral fat, if you do nothing about it, it'll start to snowball. So we haven't had much snow here in the last couple of years, but I know places up north and north of, uh, of Britain have definitely had snow. And I'm sure some of you across the pond will have had snow recently as well. And we know if you have a snowball, you start to roll it down a hill, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? And it with a big snowball, okay? Which is great, except if it's visceral fat. Because if you do nothing with your visceral fat, it will start to gain momentum, start to build up and build up over time. And we need to get this fixed, okay? We need to sort it out so that your belly doesn't push out even more, but also so that you don't suffer with any health issues further down the line, okay? So we'll be talking about why visceral fat snowballs over the next two videos okay tomorrow and the following day so make sure you watch out for that um, but before i go is this news to you have you heard about visceral fat um 
and let me know what you've tried in the past okay let me know what you've tried to lose value fat in the past i'll be interested to know i'm a little bit curious to see what you've tried have you been doing everything the same as you were perhaps in your 20s 30s and, and something's just not quite right now okay so let me know and I'll, I'll tell you we'll come back tomorrow and we'll give you a solution as to why visceral fat snowballs we'll give you a solution and let me i'll tell you right now it has nothing to do with diet or exercise there's probably some of you thinking oh i just need to change my diet or i just need to do some more exercise no okay nothing to do with diet or exercise so you have to tune in tomorrow to find out what <laughs> that solution is okay and before i go let me know let me know about uh, let me know what you know about belly fat what have you tried okay and we will go and, we'll do a deep dive into this tomorrow and i'm excited to come back tomorrow and i hope you're excited if you are excited drop me a like a like heart do whatever you want just hit hit those buttons like share let me know that you uh, are excited for tomorrow and you're and you want to know what's going on why is this visual fat causing me issues and what can I do about it? Okay, so I'll be back tomorrow at one o'clock UK time. And say so today, I just wanted to set the scene, get you primed, get you excited to get this solution. So drop a comment or a question down below, and we can carry on the conversation after this video as well. And especially if you're watching the replay. So I will see you at one o'clock UK time tomorrow, and we'll delve into this solution and what's going on. Okay, so I hope you're excited. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye for now.